Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to Motorhead and Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. You know, it was Billy Joel who sang the good old days weren't always good. And that may be right when it comes to cars in some cases. You know, you remember cruising around in a classic car and uh, when you go back and drive them today, you realize they don't handle the way they used to. And that's why folks are doing resto mods, putting new suspension in, new engines and that sort of thing. And when you were driving around in those classic cars, you remember listening to your favorite tunes and having a good time. When you listen to them today on the old stereos, you realize it's not the way it used to be. It, I always say it's like listening to a clock radio when you're going 55 miles an hour down the road. So if you want to upgrade your sound and make that as modern as your car, if you're restoring it, you're going to want to go to Custom Auto Sound. You're able to take the vintage look and you can upgrade it with all the modern conveniences like Bluetooth, aux input, CD player, any of that sort of thing. And it's going to sound just like a new system. But one thing that they have that I really like is the slide bar radio. It's got a digital readout, so you can see every display you need to see when it comes to your Bluetooth and that sort of thing. But then when you park your vehicle or when you have it at the show, you slide it over and you have the old analog look, just like the original stereo that was in the car. Now, Custom Auto Sound Manufacturing has been working for years and years in perfecting it. They have 17 different makes that they cover and over 400 different cars that they make stereos for. And they, of course, also have universal stereos you can put in your vehicle if they don't make it for your specific car or truck. How do we know it's a good quality product? Well, they test these things like you wouldn't believe. There's a temperature aging test to make sure they're going to stand the test of time, especially if you're in a hot climate. The extreme temperature test, cold and hot, and a vibration test, which is oh so important when you're driving a hot rod and you're going to shake that thing to the ground. You make sure your stereo is going to stay in good shape. Now, when it comes to products, we're also talking about custom speakers. You've got backseat speakers, dual speakers, even Kenwood speakers that they sell on their website. And if you want speakers down by the kick panels, blends right in with the original decor in your car. Also a sound bar, that might be something you're interested in. They even have a speaker panel for Volkswagens and for Thunderbirds in particular. Universal speakers, of course, if you want some nice chrome looking stuff that's going to blend right in with a 50s or 60s car. And of course, voltage boosters and all the accessories you would need to go with your stereo. And talking about accessories, when you get a custom auto sound stereo, it comes with all the bracketry you need to mount it. Also, the, the harnesses, I love this. The harnesses are labeled, so everything on it tells you exactly where it needs to go. There's no mistaking. You're not going to have any problem installing this in your car. It's super easy to do, and we're going to show you here on this 55 Chevy just how easy it is. The owner of this car bought it in working condition and he likes driving it and he's going to do it until he gets a chance to totally restore it. So he's taking care of the essentials first. We've got the hula girl on the dash and we're also going to install our stereo. I have to mention I put the seat cover in because I didn't want to get my clothes dirty. I also didn't want to get tetanus. And before you work on anything electrical in your car, you're going to want to disconnect the battery. We've done that. We've also installed speakers in the car, so that's a step that you're not going to see here on television, but we will show you how to install the head unit here. And there's several ways to connect your accessories. We've got the iPod specific cable, we've got an aux cable, and we have the USB cable. So you can have your Bluetooth, you can listen to your tunes while you're cruising down the road. Now this car, believe it or not, never had a stereo in the first place. Back in 1955, that was a $100 option. The original owner didn't want it, so it had this nice dummy panel there. We're going to take that off and we are going to go in through the glove box opening. We've already moved that glove compartment and on the back side here there's a simple connector here for our power harness. Clips in right there and we don't have an antenna or power antenna because it didn't come with a stereo in the first place but Custom Auto Sound has antennas that we can fit to our car and we're going to do that later and we will slide it into the original slide. You can already see with the slide bar radio, it looks incredible. It looks just like the original stereo. So we've got a couple washers to put here on the front to make sure this stays in place. Uh, washers, if you're in Iowa, and uh, the nuts go on on top of that. We'll do it on both sides. Not too difficult in a car like this, plenty of room. Sometimes if you're in another vehicle, you might end up doing some acrobatics to get to it, but it's not too tough. And uh, you might want a buddy sometimes to hold onto the stereo to hold it in place while you're doing stuff like this. And that nut is on and uh, we are almost ready to rock and roll here. All we got to do is we got a couple of caps here that go over the stems 
and then the knobs go on top and that's going to look just like a stereo from 1955. It's that classic look for your classic car but modern sound to make life better while you are cruising around. You can find them at customautosoundmfg.com. They've got 400 different models they cover or universal ones to make sure they have the stereo that's going to fit your car. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings right after this.